My name is Rocky Petrie. I'm prefab manager for Walker Engineering. I oversee all of the prefab production from the request from the field through to the prefab engineering to production to shipping, even including the prefab production installation drawings. What we have here today is a hospital head wall that was built off of the same design as one of our projects in Waco where everything was done in the field with the exception of the prefab items that we, we were able to provide in the normal power situation. Here everything has been done in conduit and we had to create a wall that was capable of being shipped, transported and put into place on the job site. We've created this wall with horizontal tubular steel and we've also used sheet metal to create a hat channel and our end caps so that the sheetrock is in the same plane. This allows us clearance for running our conduit and wiring in the wall and also gives us our thickness so that we have our, our box mounting depth as well. As you can see, the wall is absolutely straight and true. This mounting plate was created with a computerized punch press, as were all of the other mounting plates that we have. What we will do in the production phase is we will build these as sub-assemblies over on our production tables, bringing them over to our tilt wall table where they will be located with locator pins so that this plate and every other plate goes into the same location every time, creating an exact replication for every wall. What that's going to allow is that's going to allow for the sheetrock to be able to be pre-cut off-site or in a, another area so that you can minimize the housekeeping issues in the hospital environment that the sheetrock dust creates. We've created a template that replicates our wall. This template will allow you to position it and locate it. And then I'm going to demonstrate cutting out a couple of the holes so you can see how easy it is to cut these holes with this router. And just that easily, I've cut two holes in this sheetrock. As you can see, by using this template, you can get the reproducibility that is required to match our wall. You'll notice that we've drilled some holes in this mounting plate. What that allows us to do is to tighten our set screws on our conduit connectors behind the wall. We know that everywhere there's a hole, there should be a conduit coming into this box. These holes will be punched at the time that we punch this plate. One of the advantages of prefabbing, in our prototype, we had to punch all of our holes manually, but when we get into the production process, all of our openings and holes will be pre-punched at the time that these pieces are formed on the computerized punch press. This wall has presented some unique challenges. We have fabricated this wall using all three quarter inch conduit so that we can keep our critical power and our normal power separated and still be able to run within the six inch wall on both sides of a double sided wall. In many circumstances, the normal power, which we have here run in three quarter inch conduit, would be run in HCF or Healthcare Facilities Cable. Healthcare Facilities Cable is an AC type of armored cable that allows you to easily make some of these bends. In this instance, because we use three quarter inch conduit everywhere, we've had to create some unique bends. Doing this in a prefab situation, we can recreate these bends consistently every time. Our backbone has provided us a very rigid location for mounting our strut straps so that our conduits do not rattle. 
We've created our 16 foot wall in two eight foot sections so that it's easily transported and easily brought into the job site. We have mounting bolts to bolt it together. We have made our wiring complete into our boxes. Our wiring will pull back through the conduit and be already there. The wiring will come out into open junction boxes, in this case the light fixture, where you will connect the wires that come through the conduit in the junction part of the wall. They will connect up to the Wagos, color-coded. In this case, we have the light fixture where we have our switch leg already marked, ready for our light fixture. This is a Wago, which is a UL listed push nut. It replaces the wire nut so that the wires don't have to be twisted in the field. It's a simple connection. Just strip your wire and slide it into the hole. And then it makes a nice firm connection. You can see the copper showing through the clear cap. You know once you've got your copper there, you've got your good connection. As you can see, with our wall, with our templates and all of our mounting methods, we have created a reproducible item that can be built in a controlled environment, reducing the amount of labor on the job site and keeping all of that labor in a controlled environment where they're more efficient and there's less waste. Again, I'm Rocky Petrie and thank you for your time.